Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new episode of uh, Fishing Planet and man am I enjoying it here. Uh, I am in Emerald Lake in New York. Uh, we are fishing for walleye, uh, pickerels and pike and man is it amazing. It's early morning right now, it's picking up uh, in terms of fishing. I am spawning at the dock right here. Okay, so this is the dock. You will spawn somewhere over there. And just run up to the dock here. And I have a few markers. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, for sending over markers. That are useful. So I have a northern pike marker right here. Now, unfortunately, you guys won't have this. The northern pike, if you want to catch, is right over there. Uh, but you know what? You can do spin fishing and bottom fishing. Strongly, strongly recommend both in order to get all the fish that you want. And basically, musky, uh, sorry, not musky, walleye, uh, is what new players want to level up. So it gives a lot of money and XP. And what you want to do is you want to cast your bottom, uh, setup this marker here this is the shallow end so you're not going to have these markers so you're going to have to approximate you can pause it here and when you're in game you can uh throw your uh throw your marker here okay which is right here you want to throw your bottom setup here and then your spinning setup you want to cast here or you can cast anywhere honestly just cast anywhere along this distance you're going to be, I'm casting over there. So what's my setup? Basically, this is what you want, guys. So this is the minimum, I would say, setup you need. Uh, or what's this lake called again? Emerald Lake. I keep forgetting the name. Emerald Lake for walleye farm. So I have a 3.5 kg rod, 3.25 kg reel, and I have a 2.7 kg line. Now for bottom fishing, you also need a leader. So the leader as well is 2.7 kg. You need a weight. So I have a 25 gram weight on the setup. Now I have the smallest tip because we're not catching big fish here. Uh, so the smallest tip you want, 14 gram, and you want a 25 gram uh, weight. Uh, you want a size two or a size one hook. Nothing smaller than that size two. And I would say, I don't know, but a one odd or two odd or four odd, I don't know if that's too big. So size one or size two hook you want. If you want more XP, you can go for the barbless version. I just had no idea. They, uh, I actually forgot uh, to buy them, to experiment with them. But people say get barbless so you get more XP. And you obviously want a bell. Okay, and as for bait, you want small minnows. Buy lots of them if you are in the starter pond. Because at the starter pond, your minnows are going to be 300 credits for 10 pieces. In this lake here, it's 450 for 10. So it's a lot more expensive. So buy your minnows first before traveling to Emerald Lake. I forgot the name already. That's why I came here. Okay, so this is the bottom setup. Pause the screen whenever you want. And look and replicate this setup. I've not, I've not been spooled in and I've caught trophy walleye. I've caught, uh, let's see here. I've caught northern pike 1.9 kg. I've caught trophy walleyes. I've caught trophy chain pickerel here 1.1 kg. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so this setup is good for you in terms of spinning setup exact same thing uh, Actually, it's a little bit weaker. I have a 3 kg rod 2.9 kg reel and a 2.7 kg line so exact same weak point 2.7 kg and You want a narrow spoon 7 gram 1 odd so this spoon is uh, Is default so I have not touched the hook size or anything so you want to buy narrow spoon seven gram one odd and just throw that on i bought the silver version as well just you know 
in case the purple doesn't work. But man, the purple works so good. Uh, you don't need silver. So just buy the, um, the narrow spoon. In terms of baits for bottom feeding, you don't need anything except for four small minnows. Uh, because we are just going for, um... Okay, so we are about to enter peak time. Okay, you definitely... Oh, oh god. Okay, guys. Make sure before you come here uh, that your character has a bag that can hold at least two or three rods and reels. And you want a slingshot rod stand either... If you're going to have three rods, which means two bottom feeders and one uh, spin... And you obviously want a two a rod holder stand. Okay, so don't forget that. Also, make sure you have a big bag. You're going to fill up your bag in an instant. And you cannot leave this map once you're, rental, once you're renting it out because it will uh, expire or cancel out if you travel back home. Remember, when you buy the license, get the advanced license. Basic license are absolute garbage. And as you can see, anything worth money... You cannot catch. So what's the point of a basic license? Okay. So this you're already supposed to know. I shouldn't be explaining this to you guys. So let's go ahead quickly. Set up our stand here. Put this down. Uh, bottom setup. You are going to get thrown over here. Sometimes you're going to get so many fish. Oh no. That's my. That's my spin. Sometimes you're going to get so many fish on your spinning setup uh, that there is absolutely no point putting a bottom setup because uh, they have a strike timeout. If you're spending too much time reeling in a fish in your spin spinning setup, uh, then you're going to end up losing the fish that was, you know, uh, taking your bottom feeding setup on your bottom feeder. So be wary of that. Guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I really appreciate all the support. And I'm so enjoying this game, and I'm so happy you guys are enjoying watching it. Okay, so now when you throw your lure, uh, you want it to sink all the way to the bottom, and then you're gonna go to then you're going to do stop and go. Oh my god, already. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly retrieve this. We gotta pick this up. Okay, so top right of the screen you can see I have a narrow spoon sound gram. Okay, let's pick this guy up. Oh yeah. That's a nice sized walleye. Hopefully one kg plus. Now in... Let me catch this fish before I explain some more to you. So you can rent a boat here, but you absolutely do not need to. They're very expensive. What do we have here? Look at that. 1 kg walleye, 68 XP, 200 credits. As a new player, this is just insane. Okay, I'm going to throw this back. While I explain to you, hopefully we'll get another fish on this. Make sure you have a lot of small minnows. Okay, so on this map, we are only targeting pickerel uh, Pike. Okay, another pickerel here. Uh, and the walleye. And you're going to get yellow perch as well. Okay, so... Uh, walleye is our main concern because as new players, they're going to be our main source of bread, butter, honey, and another slice of bread on top. Okay, if you want the sausage, which we have a chance of getting a unique, you need to rent a boat. But as a new player, I would say, if you want to experience it, go for it. If not, don't bother. Because uh, boat over here, it's a power boat, right? It has power. It can go really fast. Well, it can go somewhat fast. 3,000 credits for one day. No, you don't need a boat, guys. You can just make all your money from the dock. Okay, this is the canoe, which takes a lot longer to row this is a thousand credits so if you want that sausage fish uh you can rent the boat and i believe you're supposed to cast at that rock over there 
that's where you can get the trophies, the uniques, or whatever. Okay, but uh, I am not going to bother with that. Uh, one other thing I wanted to look for is if I'm doing bottom fishing, what else can I use? Fall minnow, a perch, I don't care. Red fin pickerel, small minnows, pumpkin seed, red worm, small minnows, large minnows, dough ball, dough ball, blood worm, maggots, small minnows. So, so small minnows catch everything. It just depends on what spot you're casting it. Okay, so while I wait for the... Damn it. No, don't pick it up. Wrong button. While I wait for my bottom, I'm going to take this. Okay, I'm going to cast off there. So you're going to have to make these markers if I am online and you are on my friend list. And I am still at Emerald. I can send you these markers. If I'm not here, then I don't think I can send you. And I'm not going to come back here just to send it to you because it's very expensive. So stop and go. Basically, that's it. Doesn't matter if it's touching the ground or is, if it's above ground. Just make sure you're doing stop and go. Um, I guess make sure it is actually close to the ground because the walleyes stay close to the ground. Okay, so that was a mistake I made. Uh, not too big of a fish. So at this spot here. Uh, from bottom fishing, I've caught the biggest fish through bottom fishing. Do you want... Um... Uh, 0.89 kg wallet, 176. So the biggest fish I've caught are all on bottom setup. So that's why I say use bottom setup. It's extremely important. Uh, if you have a strong, I guess load system load setup then sure go for that uh but if we i guess if you look at my profile again small minnow small minnow small minnow look at that so all three fish here pickerel northern pike and walleyes all on small minnows uh so if you want a good chance at a trophy or a big fish you need small minnow uh, but spin setup works really well. We're going to let it sink to the bottom. Okay. Stop and go. Stop and go. Um, I'm going to be honest here. Lake isn't very picturesque. You know, the starting pond. I love the starting pond. It looks so good. It's so lush. A very welcoming sight so much fun it's cheery you know you just want to smile you're enjoying so much uh but this lake just it's always hazy it's always early morning oh no there was a tiny bite but i missed it and it's just not very welcoming so i don't know as soon as i'm done with this lake i want to go somewhere else very tiny as well. Uh, like we can, this is the only shore we have. This dock all the way up to that wood, that tree, fallen tree, and that's it. The walleye. 0.825, not too big. You can also throw this guy all the way in the deep end as well. Let's throw this back in the deep end. You will get fish from the deep end as well. With this hair. Uh, but yeah, I am enjoying it so much. Being here, man, I, uh, so I bought a three day license, advanced license and three day travel ticket here. So three in real lifetime days. And it costed me 6,500 credits, if I remember correctly. And uh, wow, in four hours, I ended up making 
Uh, 12,000 credits. So let me just reel this in. I can open my inventory and you guys will see how much money I have in my bank. That will show you how much uh, I've earned. Now remember, I already leveled up like what, two or three times here? In the four hours I was streaming here. Uh, so man, if, if you are a new level player and you have the minimum setup, oh man, you're set. Uh, 1 kg exact. Look at that. I'm almost leveled up again. Um, let's see here. See, I'm almost level 15 now. Fishnet, 729 credits already. What was it going to show you guys? Sorry. Drop. Yeah, very a lot of fun. Back here again. Um maybe later on when I'm not desperate for XP and money, I can come back here. And I can try different baits and I can try different spots for different fish. But right now I'm only aiming for the walleye because obviously they are the best XP and money and basically when you're new that's all you want you can buy better gear and you can go to different maps and actually afford you know you won't go broke after oh i was supposed to show you how much money i had in my inventory ah uh, i said it on stream i have a memory of a fish i just need to decide which fish a goldfish or a shark or maybe a dolphin's memory <laughs> i don't know uh, chain pickerel point five four two half a kg. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, we have seventeen thousand credits. I leveled up, but two three times. This might be my fourth time I'm leveling up. I don't remember. I think I was level ten when I came here. Uh, so every time you level up, you get like what fifteen hundred credits. That's additional monies you're going to be getting let this bad boy think at the bottom and uh sometimes or actually it's very almost common now uh both my spinning and my bottom setup will get a fish on at the same time and that sucks because uh, I cannot retrieve the fish in time on my spinner to put it away and pick up my bottom fishing rod. Because once you have a fish on, you gotta pick that ASAP. Pick that rod up ASAP because it has a timer. Uh, the fish will only stay on for a certain amount of time before it unhooks. And I don't know if it actually eats your uh, bait and you gotta recast or not. I don't know that. Uh, but obviously, when the fish gets away, you don't you don't want that, it sucks. Keep that in mind. I've caught a few trophies here in this spot. Trophy yellow perch, pickerel, whatever you saw in the profile, the biggest fish. Northern pike I need a trophy of. I think I, I had a 1.9 kg, unfortunately, I think it's a 2 kg for a trophy. That is so close. And let's do one last cast. Bad boy saying. As you can see, emerald exploration on the left side of the screen. I still need to catch pumpkin, common and gold shiner, blunt nose minnow. Those are small fish. I don't care for them. I need monies. And XP. Oh, that's what we are after. Uh, I really want to do bottom fishing. I want to go for some catfish or some big fish where it's a fight. And for that big fight, you know, we're rewarded with a lot of money and XP. That would be so cool. Okay. I really wanted to try Barbless and see how much more XP I can get. Wow, very, 
Precise turns this fish has. One KG walleye again. Look at that. One more fish and I'm going to level up. 195. Let's see how much money we made. 1,000 credits in 20 minutes. So that is sweet sauce. That's very nice. Backpack. I cannot repair anything. That sucks. So there you go. A little bit about Emerald Lake. Once again, we spawn on the dock. Or it doesn't even matter. If you spawn here, you can just run here. It's a tiny little map. And it's just so much fun as a new player because you make so much XP. And I just came to a private room because I wanted this clean space here to do a video because there's so many people on the dog fishing. You have rods left and right in your face. So I really hope this was informative for you and I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope when you get into the game that you can uh, replicate the results and do better than what I'm doing. So, oh look, you can see the markers here. 49.34 and minus 77.18. This is where I'm throwing the bottom. Uh, spin setup I'm throwing around, let's say, 52.36 and minus 58.80. If you're looking for the Northern Pike, um, you want to throw your bottom feeding with uh, minnows at 80.27 80 and minus 87.47. I believe if you want the sausage fish, it's somewhere over here. I don't know exactly, so don't uh, quote me on that one. But that big rock apparently has those. So guys, I will hopefully see you in the next episode. Until the very next time, guys, enjoy.